Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's a weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. February the 10th on Saturday, all the news that fit is fit to print. International Cribbage Day, International Winter Bike to Work Day, National Cream Cheese Brownie Day. Oh, Yum. those sound good. National Flannel Day, National Home Warranty Day, National Umbrella Day, uh, the Inbox Day as well. All of that and uh, much, much more on Saturday. Sunday, the 11th of February, our anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. Aw, thank you. Be electric. Uh, be electrific day. I don't. Th- I think that's a made up word. Uh, also, get out your guitar and play day. Uh, National Latte Day, National Inventors Day, National Don't Cry Over Spilled Milk Day, World of the Sick, (laughs) Pro Sports Wives Day. Oh, it's that because it's also Super Bowl Sunday. Look at that. that stuff happening this weekend. Speaking of that game that I just mentioned, I'm going to talk to David Schaffner. He is an advertising expert, not behind that bowl, behind Spot Bowl, America's obsession with the commercials that happen in that game and i'm one of them oh. that's what i watch it for we're going to chat with david coming up in a bit give yourself a little credit i've been telling you about bettercreditcards.com for a few years now i'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website who knows you might find a better credit card one that offers a better rate or a credit card that offers cash back airline miles or other points and perks that can help you check it out now Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Might not come as a surprise to hear this, but uh, especially if you're, you know, not much of a football fan. But according to a new survey, the best part of the Super Bowl is not the game. In fact, two in five people plan to watch 20 minutes or less of the game. The poll of 2,000 Americans who watched the game found that 40%. Look forward to attending or hosting a party for the game, but barely spend any time in front of the TV. They yeah. they do it. Why? 29% said just to spend some time with friends and snacks. Yeah. Uh, some of the others said 55% said for the halftime show. That was followed in order by commercials, like me, 45%, yep. and drinks, 40%. That would be Heidi. And, <laughs> just kidding. And uh, 9% admit they're unlikely to know which teams are even playing before they turn it on. Exactly. I'm, one of those. I'm the I, same way. I still don't know. And I've, don't I've, know, don't I've care. probably read it nine times, but I'm I like, I do eh. know who's playing this year, but I just yeah. don't care. All right. All of that, uh, surveys and studies and such in the show notes if you'd like to read it. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com. That's insurance insurancechicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by the all-new Genesis Gold, IRA.com. Heidi, did you know a sleep expert says the winner of the big game between, oh, Kansas City and San Francisco. That's who's playing. I I know. (laughs) Might be determined by the team that has the best quality sleep. According to Dr. Joanna Fong Erschwangzi, I don't know if I said any of that right, a neurologist specializing in sleep medicine at the University of Pittsburgh says that getting adequate sleep is essential for optimal health and performance of athletes. Not only does it prevent injuries, it benefits an athlete in the following ways. Sleep helps you with speed, strength, and endurance. Sleep helps you with accuracy and reaction time. Sleep helps with cognitive skills and decision making. And sleep helps you with pain. Well, it's a good thing we had an expert to tell us that because I would have had no yeah. idea. I would have stayed up all night thinking about it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Reba McIntyre is planning for her sitcom return over 15 years after starring in Reba on The CW. She's set to star and be the executive producer in a pilot ordered by NBC for a new comedy, It will reunite the country music legend with Reba executive producers and writers. So a lot of people from the other team that are all going to be coming back together. And uh, this one, there's going to be a partner that's a half-sister that she never knew she had. 
Well, that's so nice. Be I've never seen the show, but I think that's really great for her. It's very cool. Netflix has unveiled its first look at Squid, Squid Games 2, uh, Season 2. It's part of a series of a film preview for 2024 of what's coming. After teasing 27 other upcoming movies, shows, and live events, the three-minute video ends with a short clip from the South Korean mega hit. In it, unknown voices say over a phone, you're going to regret the choice you've made. Okay. So. I regret reading that story. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. Sorry. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. I get emails from this company all the time, and I probably shouldn't even admit this out loud, but I'm going to admit it right now. I've never been to their website, okay. ever. I bet I've gotten 300 emails from them. Which company? Every once in a while, I will share some of them here, and I share, I'm going to share this one. Uh, it's from Top Cashback. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, okay. but... But they always they have really interesting surveys that they do and like interesting things like this one. It says the big game is on TV screens all across the country, according to a recent survey. Uh, and then it boasts how great they are. Uh, Two fifths <laughs> of Americans treat the big game like a holiday, either every year or when their team is playing. So they've got a lot of interesting stuff about this and I thought you know if I don't read it now I'm gonna have to just delete it because like it's this weekend so you know when my dad's team is in the Super Bowl it's a it's a oh yeah it's an event it yeah. is a lot different when it's your team playing yeah. you know we we still watch no matter what but if if your dad's team is playing then right it, it's a it's a whole thing well the survey poll uh, or the po- polled a cross section I don't know what I'm I barely speak English right now sorry <laughs> A cross section of 2,519 US based adults and, and uh, people age 18 and over. <laughs> you okay? No. I just can't get past this giant <laughs> scar on yeah, your I face. Sh- I cut myself shaving. I've been shaving since I'm like, I don't know, 15, 16. <laughs> I'm almost 50. How do I cut myself <laughs> shaving? Uh, back to the story. Meanwhile, one third of Americans, 33%, say that the big game is the only football game they watch all year. That's me. I don't watch others. Yep. Uh, find a selection of potential story angles around the survey. So they have all of these different things that they sent. I mean, I, I'm putting the whole thing in here because I want people to see why I had to read this. There is so much stuff. So if you want to just have something to talk about with your friends, about the big game, talking about snacks, talking about <laughs> parties. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I was going to delete this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to share this. I think people need to know. And I do have a link to the page that they sent. I still haven't clicked it. I have no idea what's there. But you can see the story. It's in the show notes for today. It's a long one. It's a big one. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We've got a guest today joining us from SpotBowl.com. I don't know if you heard about this, but there's like a big football game this weekend? Yeah, apparently it's a big deal. Well, our guest David Schaffner is with SpotBowl.com. They've been putting the commercials together and kind of highlighting the commercials from that big game since 2004. Is that right? It is, yeah. You know, we're an ad agency called Pavone Group, and we created spot bowl like you said back in 2004 because we know about half of the people watching the game 
are watching just for the ad. So we wanted to give them uh, a voice. And David, I'm one of those people. I'm not a big sports guy, but we usually watch the game for the commercials. And these commercials are the best commercials of the year. And it hasn't always been that way. That's kind of a recent phenomenon. When you look back historically, they didn't always have really good, really expensive commercials in the game, did they? They didn't. You know, and, and I think it was probably around the late 70s, certainly into the 80s, but the late 70s when advertisers and brands started to see the uh, you know, the power that the Super Bowl had in terms of the viewing audience. You know, it's one of the most watched TV events of the year. Uh, and, and in some years, it sets records for the most watched TV event of all time, as we're expecting this year with the Taylor Swift effect. But um, so advertisers realize that so many people are watching and it's a, and it's a great opportunity to put, you know, an A game uh, commercial out there. And at spotbowl.com, you've got the inside scoop, and a lot of these involve celebrities. Who can we expect to see? We do, yeah. You can go to spotbowl.com and check out the lineup and check out the pre released ads that are already going up on the site for pregame voting. But yeah, we're going to see Chris Pratt for Pringles in a very funny spot, sporting a handlebar mustache. Uh, we're going to see uh, Christopher Walken. We're going to see uh, uh, Tom Brady. If he's not in the game, he's in the commercials at least. Tom Brady's going to be in a spot for Bet MGM. So, yeah, a star studded lineup at last count, uh, about 70% of the ads that you're going to see on Sunday will feature some sort of a celebrity. And it seems to me some companies have kind of figured out like a special formula to make their advertisement in this big game really stand out is there kind of a secret formula to make this work you know that, that there is uh but, but sort of fine-tuning that formula is the is the big secret right i think uh more than anything as an advertiser you have to tell a story and you have to make people feel an emotion whether it's humor or sentimental or patriotism or, you know whatever it is you have to make them feel emotion you have to tell a story but more importantly you have to get your brand you know, or your, or your product into that story. So people remember it because if people remember the celebrity or they remember the punchline, but they don't remember the product, uh, you may have just wasted your money. And what does it cost to even get a commercial in the Super Bowl these days? I think I read somewhere it was like 7 million bucks. 7 million. Yeah, that ties last year's rice. And that's just for 30 seconds. I remember back when it was just a million dollars, there was a company that bought an ad and then they had their mother do the commercial. And it was basically her saying, my son wasted a million dollars on this ad. Please go to his website. And I thought that was brilliant. It probably didn't cost him a lot for the commercial, but I thought that was a pretty effective way to use that $1 million spot. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, if I remember correctly, that might have been from the dot-com bowl uh, Super Bowl, which I believe was 2000, believe it or not, it was that long ago, 2000. Because when we first started uh, uh, Spot Bowl in 2004, commercials were right around $2 million. Oh, uh, wow. $2 million. It would have been several years before 2004 that they were at a million. But um, uh, you're right. I think if you make a commercial that can kind of stand out and defies, you know, the usual formulas or expectations, that's always a, that's always an interesting approach. It's risky, but it can help you stand out and be remembered. And I know for a while it seemed like there were several companies that would do a contest, but I haven't seen any companies doing a contest. Are any companies still doing that kind of thing for their commercial? No, no. Yeah, Doritos did that for several years. They called it the Crash the Super Bowl contest uh, that that ha- that went on for about ten years during the Spot Bowl era. Um, and and uh, yeah, you're right. I think they, they had some really really good submissions. In some years, the the fan made spots were were in our top ten. Uh, yeah. In a couple of years, they won our poll. So there were some really well made spots from the from the fans. Now Doritos isn't doing that anymore. They went back to using ad agencies, which as an ad agency ourselves, we're happy to yeah. see that. But. Um, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that, that was something that was really a trend for a while. Again, our guest, David, is with SpotBowl.com. And what is the best way for us to utilize your website, David? Sure. Well, I mean, you can use it on your desktop. You can use it mobile, but it's SpotBowl.com. And like I said, pregame voting is already underway. There were, we're, about half of the spots have been released already and they're already on the site you can watch half of the spots on game day you can watch the rest and vote for the rest very cool david thank you so much for your time today absolutely thanks for having me again the website is spotball.com i'll throw a link to that in the show notes for today at john and heidi show.com give yourself a little credit I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you are over 100 years old, there is an 80% chance you're a woman. I think you've read that before. (laughs) I think it's funny the way that's worded. (laughs) If you are over... 40 years old and have read this fact more than twice, there's a 100% chance you may be losing your mind. Who, me? What? (laughs) I think that it sounds weird saying if you're 100, there's an 80% chance you're a woman. I think it would be easier to say 80% of people over 100 are women. Wouldn't that make more sense? Sure. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cucumber pressed to the roof of your mouth for 30 seconds can cure bad breath. Oh, wow. Good to know. I like cucumbers. Probably just you a slice, not. not a whole cucumber. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? With each breath, you only exchange about 17% of the air in your lungs. Oh, wow. I never thought That's done. interesting. <sighs> I got rid of way, way more that time. Uh, and our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the 12th century, many Europeans believed that trees gave birth to birds. <laughs> We've come a long way. <laughs> Several fun facts. <laughs> now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com, helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. The average woman owns three of these by the time she turns 35. I'll bet you did, most likely. I don't know. Cars? No, bridesmaids dresses. Oh, no, I did not, actually. How many times have you been a bridesmaid? Once. Really? Yep. Who was it? For who? Jason and Jen, my oh, brother. I was going to say, I, I I remember you being a bridesmaid for somebody. Yeah, no, nope, So just nobody once. else has ever asked you? No. Would you like to be a bridesmaid? No, if in fact, have... when Jason, I was on my second marriage when uh, Jason and Jen got married and I said, always a bride, never a bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Okay, here I had to put this in today as well. With some Taylor Swift fans watching the Super Bowl for the first time, uh, there's a company out there called, it's a sports book, Bo, Bovada, I don't know who it is, uh, but they announced their first ever Taylor Swift-themed Super Bowl party prop sheet. Oh my god! It's designed, uh, designed rather to elevate the big game experience for Swift fans and football fans alike. Yeah. The party prop sheet, which can be found uh, to print for free from the sounds of it. I've got a link to the thing. I've I didn't print it because I don't really care. But <laughs> but somebody might, Heidi. Uh, it's uh, for people who are might. hosting parties, uh, Super Bowl parties, and exclusively relating everything in this to Taylor Swift. It includes things like how many times will Taylor Swift be shown on camera? Every two seconds. How will Taylor Swift make it in time for kickoff? Or will she make it in time for kickoff? And will her boyfriend, Travis, proposed to Taylor Swift on the field. Oh, my gosh. So these questions and more are part of this fun game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have it listed as weird news. because I, I think that is pathetic. Well, I think it's weird. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. We're going to talk about the best ever Super Bowl commercials. Is there any that stick out in your mind like of all time favorite, Heidi? You know, there's so many. Every year, but, there's more that I just love. And no, I don't have an absolute favorite at well, all. Well, then but. you don't count, but we're going to tell everybody else. Number seven on the list. I've got the top seven from 2010, Old Spice, Your Man Can Smell Like. Do you remember that? I've got a link I to do. all of these. Number six is Pepsi, Cindy Crawford, 1992. That was a good one. That I've got was a, link, a good one. Got a link to that one as well. Number uh, five is Snickers, You're you're Not You When You're Hungry from 2010. Uh, those are always Betty great. White. That's a great campaign. Yeah. McDonald's, The Showdown, 93. Uh, rivals Larry Bird, Michael Jordan. 
Uh, Wendy's, where's the beef? That's from oh, 1984. I didn't know that was a Super Bowl yep, ad. Yep, that that's was around came for from. years. Uh, Apple's Macintosh, 1984. Uh, that is number two. And the number one Super Bowl ad of all time, You anything come to mind? No. Hey, kid, catch. Oh, okay. From Coca-Cola, way back in 1979. Mean Joe Green. I've got a link to all of these in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Doug Larson. I used to work with a Doug Larson. I bet it's a different Doug Larson. Probably a different one. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) This Doug Larson said, the cat could very well be man's best friend, but would never stop, but would never stoop to admitting it. (laughs) That's true. Cats just don't seem to want you around. You know, here's the thing that's funny. I know a lot of dog people and I know a lot of cat people and we're far more alike than we are different. We all just need to come together. (laughs) We, just, we need to hug it out, and wow. it's going to be good. Thanks, John. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Matter of fact, it's great news, and it's adorable news as well. You're going to love it. It comes your way courtesy of the all-new GenesisGoldIRA.com, and that website looks amazing, Heidi, but there is one thing i got to tell you. Our photo is on there now. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. They ask, can you guys send us a picture? I'm like, sure, I can do that. I didn't know it was going to go on the website. <laughs> I would have sent a better picture. I'm like, oh, there we go. Here's, here's me and my painting clothes. <laughs> uh, here's the headline for the good news today. Venomous and adorable, Memphis Zoo celebrates birth of a rare pygmy slow loris. Must so, be a snake? No, it's a critter of some sort. It's in the guy's hand. It's like a tiny, looks like an itty bitty cat type thing. So I'll read to you what it is. It's a Memphis Zoo shared photos uh, and the joyous news of the birth of a rare and endangered pygmy slow loris or iris. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, loris, L-O-R-I-S. Uh, born December the 13th. So this is a while ago. Okay. Why in the world are we just getting this now? Adorable. I'll have to look up what, what it is we're talking well, about. Well, I'll, I'll, I've got a link to it in the show notes, and I'll show, I'll show you here in a second. Adorable primate is the offspring of oh, proud parents. Uh, do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> proud, proud parents, Samper and Artemis. However, due to special circumstances, zoo veterinarians made the decision to provide the newborn with extra care to enhance its chance of survival. It is such a cute little thing. The dedicated staff at the zoo has been taking responsibility of hand-rearing the baby pygmy slow loris, ensuring it receives the -the round-the-clock care needed. Initially, the primate was nourished with formula every two hours. As it continued to grow, the little one now has graduated to a slurry of banana and leaf-eater biscuit and water and formula. That's what I used to eat. Uh, Eagerly consumes from a bowl now. And there's some really great images here of this little critter. And uh, again, it's a primate, for those of you who know what that is. I didn't even know that was... I didn't know there was such a thing as a venomous primate. Yeah, apparently this little guy is going to be deadly someday. But as for now, he is super adorable. And you can see photos and videos of the cute little thing in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.